Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do so because I post development content like this every single week. I also post tutorials, so if you're interested in that, you know, why not go ahead and subscribe? You're always welcome to and subscribe later on. If you guys are interested in being part of my Discord community, links are in the description. Um, so yeah, feel free to join if you're interested. Okay, so this week's progress on the simulator project. Um, since I haven't uploaded in a while, I did decide to do quite a decent uh, chunk just so I have more to show um, so as you can see we have a truck here so now I'm not I'm not sure whether this is actually gonna be a simulator anymore I'm kind of debating between just a normal kind of uh, fun game to play then I mean it'll probably fit into the simulator uh, genre but yeah I've, de I've designed these leaderboards which um, obviously I'm gonna need the scripter to uh, make the leaderboard work and function and stuff we have more varieties of uh, trees that fit the kind of style I currently have and I also have uh, arrows to help the player throughout the game now as far as the map progress is going I have done a decent chunk so this is going to be the exit point is very underwhelming at the moment so I'm gonna develop it a lot more um, but the, the idea is that you're gonna be able to interact with this uh, driver and then a little map will pop up and then you'll be able to select which zone you can go to if uh, you have unlocked it so that's currently the exit at this point um, I have decided to design kind of like an entrance point to the area because previously it was just it just didn't make sense so now we have a train station this was kind of inspired by that uh, kind of animal crossing um, kind of approach to entering like someone's island and stuff like that I'll pop a screenshot up on the screen um, but yeah I think this turned out really cool so the character will kind of spawn here I am debating whether to add like a a, a train to come through here when a player joins but uh, I think that will probably be a bit too much effort but I think uh, depending on how uh, well the game goes I'll probably add that later on so we have the leaderboards here which you're going to be up. I'm not sure about these yet, but uh, you can have coins, uh, the amount of animals you've kind of uh, rescued, and the amount of pets you have. So this will probably change. Um, but yeah, these are currently the leaderboards so far. So I have been debating whether I want to make like one big building or just like a, a couple of smaller buildings. Um, I've been currently designing like concepts for the building like this but I'm not really a big fan of this kind of format I might go for the, like the more cartoony look but um, uh, yeah I have no progress yet on the uh, buildings but I'm pretty sure I'll probably cover them in the uh, next uh, video on this simulator game and I want to add maybe like a fishing spot or like an NPC you can interact with here for some uh, specific task and this spot I may add uh, after I post a specific update or something but for now it's going to be a um, kind of bolded up here so you can't access it I do also have invisible borders now as well so you can't uh, you know jump around the uh, map with that in mind um, since my concept for this game is kind of you know unusual I don't think um, I don't think people of a younger age would kind of pick it up instantly um, so I had an idea of creating like a, a whole tutorial area so you come out here and you perhaps interact with your first NPC which will uh, take you on like this little um, uh, journey um, in which you can uh, you you spawn here essentially this is incomplete by the way if you can tell and you'll kind of just uh, travel around here and it will kind of teach you how to play the game um, I don't know how whether I just want it to be this section or I want two sections um, I'll probably figure that out later on uh, but yeah this kind of like a still work, work in progress but uh, it's, it's it's getting there for sure I'm gonna add invisible walls around and uh, yeah that's pretty much it I'm gonna add like a, like a little campsite here perhaps where you can interact with the NPC that might send you back and forth to do different tasks just to you know develop more uh, more of an interaction in the uh, tutorial 
so I've also been experimenting with UI obviously I don't do UI whatsoever I'm not a UI artist um, so this kind of like my first or second attempt to it obviously the images are placeholders holders but you have your buttons on the side these aren't final by the way and if I go to my UI I currently have an inventory which is you know nowhere near complete yet but I think you can kind of get the idea here you have your actual inventory here with your items and then your character uh, profile here and then perhaps like the uh, the uh, kind of like the currency and all the stats you have here and then the different uh, inventory panels you can access for like uh, so let's say I want to access my pets or my tools or my items or something if I click one of these it will switch my inventory panel to that specific type of uh, item or collectible that you have now another bit of UI that I've done since uh, the purpose of the game um, I think I'm going to add like collecting pets and all that kind of stuff um, making them collectibles and stuff I made like a journal which is kind of like a, a book kind of thing which I managed to do out of the uh, default kind of uh, UI you can get without importing anything out of uh, out of Photoshop and then you can essentially scroll down here you can select a, a specific animal and then it will give you its uh, its um, its profile here maybe how many times you've you know um, you found it or you've collected it or something like that just to develop more uh, playability in the game and have more to do rather than just you know and money to you know rebirth or something like typical simulators do that is pretty much the uh, progress that I've done so far um, one thing I would say doing UI is a lot more simple than it looks as long as you add um, the kind of like the the size constraint so like it uh, resizes with the screen size uh, and then you can kind of just add these uh, UI corner elements so if you right click or you just click add and you type in UI corner it will basically curve the uh, the corners of your UI just to add that little uh, bit of detail so it, the corners aren't as, sh as sharp as you'd usually find them you know for, for, for something like a simulator you don't really need uh, much of uh, much detail in your UI um, as far as it goes I'm liking the style I'm currently going for like this kind of like a wooden um, approach to it and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for uh, all the UI so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video of uh, this simulator uh, progress so far uh, make sure to like the video uh, if you're enjoying this kind of like series um, yeah I'm since I'm uh, completely finished with college now, I'm going to be uploading a lot more regularly um, to reach my goal of 10,000 subs by September-ish. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you have any recommendations for types of videos, go ahead and comment down below because I will be looking uh, through them. Other than that, that's been it for me. Uh, peace.